Hopefully Maybe they're still around. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and today is day two here in Costa Rica. We have Alex and CJ loading up. We just came across this big floating log right here. It's pretty much a whole tree. We got Malachi in the back spitting his mask. <laughs> Malachi's gonna get in the water with the camera and the GoPro. I'm just gonna film from the boat and hope they shoot this big old Dorado. Huge, huge bull mahi swam by the boat under this log. I'm just hoping they're still around. When we found this log, we were not geared up at all. Not really ready to jump in the water, so. We've been rushing around just to get in the water. All right. There's a little trigger fish right there too. CJ's over here, Alex, Malachi, big CJ, old log. He's over here. Is it only one? No, like, I saw like five or six. Five or six mahi? Yeah, but one big bull, like around 40, 50 pounders. Yeah, I saw the big bull. CJ just stove. CJ, behind you! There he goes, he just shot. He shot? Awesome, yep. Uh, Must have been a pretty good shot. <clears throat> Stone shot? So CJ just shot a big Dorado, and then he just directed Alex that there's two more a little farther away. So I think Alex is gonna go swim over to the other two, hopefully put a second shot in another Dorado. But so far we have one shot. So these big Mahi Mahi or Dorado, if you wanna call them whichever name, They'll, they like to hang out on any type of floating structure, logs. It could be a, a milk jug floating in the water. Um, they like that because a lot of bait fish will huddle up and just kind of corral and hang out under these objects because the bait fish think they're, you know, getting protection, just hiding under something in this big, big ocean. And then the big predator fish come in and, well, they like to eat, so. Normally, if there's something floating in deep enough water, most of the time you do see mahi-mahi. Back in Florida, we call them dolphin. Um, worldwide, they call them mahi-mahi. And in a lot of Spanish-speaking countries, they call them dorado. What you got there? Got a little dorado. Little dorado. Solid, solid. Uh, what happened to the other ones? Uh, he, uh, the really, really big one wasn't hanging out for sure he uh he just wanted to get out of there i mean it's a nice size one heck yeah <laughs> how many did you see total uh like seven dang like seven or eight of them yeah it was uh it was cool i was what oh your line oh. Uh, there's two bulls with the rest cows um there was yeah there was uh actually there was like three or four bulls nice i didn't really almost all of them looked like this it was crazy um this one was like average sized all the other ones were like this size whereas uh there was the one that was easily twice as big that one that was off in the boat yeah oh easily twice as big he was a stud he just wouldn't get close to me and like i was chasing after the the bull or the, the big bull and um and alex was like dude behind you and i turn around and this guy was just chilling too easy to you know yes. so then i figured if i shot it maybe just maybe the other ones would come and check them out and they did but alex just wasn't close enough to make that shot so oh, dang it but i'm well, stoked on this one heck sick. yeah that's a solid bull so sick heck yeah that'll work so 
So I dive down and there's a massive school of bonita. Bonita is a type of tuna. Um, although we don't necessarily eat bonita, we use them for bait. So I knew we were going to be spearfishing all day today. So I went ahead and shot one. One for a little bit of trigger practice and two to utilize as bait for spearfishing throughout the day. <laughs> now we have chub. This can't right there, perfect. I'm thinking. So I get back in the water and we're waiting around this log for probably about 20, 25 minutes just to see if these mahi-mahi or any other big predatory fish comes by this log to check it out. Uh, unfortunately, everyone's kind of like, well, let's get out, find a new spot. But in the back of my head, I just, I, I just knew this mahi was going to come back. I don't know why, I didn't really overthink it. It was just a very small thought in the back of my brain. Sure enough, boom, looked over my right shoulder and the massive Dorado was swimming right next to me. I was the only one in the water. Everybody got into the boat already. And I clicked my GoPro on and just immediately shot. I did not waste a second. I did not want this fish to get away. <laughs> Turn my GoPro on! <laughs> oh my god, Kelly! Woo! What just happened? Kelly's big animal! Bull. Big, big bull! Oh, she stoved it with <laughs> real good! Was that on camera? I was literally manifesting this mahi. I'm not even kidding you. Wow. Literally manifesting this fish. It's not gonna happen. Just uh, put okay. your hands in it. We'll leave the shaft out just in case he starts running again. Mm -hmm. Mi mahi, yo quiero sacar un pintura por doble. Jefferson, dame la mi mahi. Hey, Omar. Gotcha, Michael, I got you a present. <laughs> I got you gifts. Nice size bull. 40 pounders. How much? 40. 40, yeah. 40. yeah. I want to do a double. Head. My personal best bull mahi. <laughs> Everyone was getting in the boat, and I swear I was just Where's like manifesting a mahi to swim back up because everyone was getting out of the water and normally when divers get out of the water fish tend to come back and i was just keeping my eyes on the horizon sure enough i looked to my right and he was maybe 10 feet away from me and i stoned it Woo! it's sick look how much bigger it is than mine <laughs> <See, Jay. laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
We're about to bleed out this mahi and CJ poked a hole in it. And then apparently he found something, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, the heart. Really? Is that the heart? Yeah. Take it. <laughs> she did it. I'm proud of her. Yeah, I have heart striations in my front teeth now. Nice. <laughs> Covers up the yellow from the turmeric. <laughs> yeah, right. You guys, we ate like raw turmeric root at this little restaurant. And so I'm like just sitting there chewing on it, completely forgetting that turmeric stains like really bad. And then I'm like talking and smiling and Alex who's sitting across me is like, your teeth are so stained with turmeric. So I'll show you guys that picture right here. And it feels pretty bad. It lasted about 20 minutes though. And I'm sitting there like, so I got it off. All right. Come on, big guy. Perfect size ice box for my fish, guys. There's on the bottom. Thank you, Sydney. See it, Dusabe? Solid fish. Both bulls, too. Awesome, good start. That's awesome. Yeah. How'd that taste? Bloody. So we left the log with the mahi and bait fish, and we came out to some depths of maybe from 50 to 70 foot, and there's like rock and reef on the bottom. We're looking at the fish finder to see if there's any fish um, stacked up on the bottom or swimming up in the upper to mid water column. Um, so we're gonna jump in here, see if we can't plug a few fish and see what we can get. It was the baby. The baby was so curious, so then the mom had to follow the baby.
shot too. CJ just shot this beautiful golden trevally. Super interesting fish. I've never seen one before. We do not have these fish at home on the Atlantic side, however, the Pacific side they do. So while CJ shot that fish, Alex dove down and shot this Amarillo snapper. I might be butchering that word, but it's called an Amarillo, Amarillo snapper. Uh, we do eat this fish. We cook it whole tonight for dinner, which you guys will see at the end of the video as well as the next fish, CJ Spears, which is a smaller Cubera, which is perfect to be grilled and cooked whole. That's pretty much a schoolmaster. Double up. We got the perfect Rivera for a cargo Etero. Yeah. Beautiful. So I do like a perfect little complete whole snapper. Baked with banana leaves. Be perfect. That's perfect size for that. Oh man, I love these. These are like the perfect eaters. Sweet. Yeah. How deep? What was that? How deep? Uh, 44. Oh, nice. 44 feet. That's it. Super nice and shallow, like I promised. <laughs> Crystal clear. You just pull the shaft of the line through. Hold on. No, I got it. I'm going. I'm coming. Yeah. It looks like he's got some, uh, Ooh, looks like he's been eating good. Oh yeah. Nice he might be a little air because I shot him and he, I stoned him at depth. Look at them teeth. I wish I had my GoPro on, but I didn't have the GoPro on. You seem to shoot fish when you don't have the GoPro. Yeah, a lot. Well, I had the GoPro, I just didn't put it on. Look at that. Oh, look, Already? You want to see something cool? Look, oh, yes, look, there's a fish tail in his mouth. Yes. Look at that. You a snapper? Yeah, he has a snapper in his mouth. Stick your hand in there and get it. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Look at that. Oh, there's no way I can get to that. I know. When we fillet it, we'll get it out. Do it like this, maybe. That's a pretty yeah. big... It's going to be like pulling it. It's going to be hard to pull it backwards, tail first. Yeah, you, know? you can see the tail though. Dang. Nice snapper. How cool is that? You That's why the sweet? belly's full. Oh yeah. yeah. He's got a big old fish in there. So you want to see something else that's cool? 
a key. Like right here. What is it? You see this? This is called a Volmeranian tooth patch right there. Uh -huh. A mangrove snapper will be a, a full line up and then an arrow that way. Um, the Kuberas have just the triangle patch and they don't have the, the line there. That's how you can honestly tell the difference between a Kubera and a mangrove snapper. Wow. Full nice. Moranian tooth patch. Yeah. And then I'd like move it out a little bit. And then like I'd line up on a parvo or on you a, a box of fish. I went in one more time. Oh, just because the boy shot some fish. But I'm tired. I'm ready to eat. Mm. Right now we're over a wreck. And there's a bunch of little snapper. They look like schoolmasters from back home, but they call them something else here. So Alex and CJ are gonna see if they can't bomb down to the bottom and shoot a few more for dinner tonight. What you got? Mackerel? No. no. Oh, houndfish. What do you call them here? Aguja. Aguja? Yes. We ate one of those in Mexico and it was full of worms. Agujas. Yeah, we didn't eat it. Double shoot. Agujas. Look at that. Double. You double up? Woohoo! Those fish are so cool. I think those are the golden trevallis. Why did it even twitch? Nice. That's a golden trevally, right? Well, I love oh, these things. They're great like for them. ceviche, even sashimi. Nice white meat. Yeah, those are super cool. It's, uh, it's almost identical to meat to the, the yellow jacks that we have. It looks like that. Look at their goat mouths. Yeah, look at those things. Hello. Hello. <laughs> they're so, oh my god, they're so rubbery. <laughs> that is hilarious. We are about to fly this drone. And by we, I mean Kelly. <laughs> We're going to hope to fly it and somehow get it back. The swells super big and so we're hoping that we are able to make it back safe and don't destroy the drone. We're pretty much gonna just um, ride these waves onto the beach with this panga and hope for the best. How are you feeling? You feeling confident? Yeah, I'm actually feeling a little confident. The battery on this thing's pretty good. You paused when you said yeah. <laughs> So here we go. This is how it's happening. Malachi, take off. There we go. There we go. No, 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 don't let it go. Don't let it go. My remote's not even on. You better hold on to that. <laughs> What's happening, Kelly? I don't know. My remote's off. Just hold on to it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so Let's try that again. Malachi just saw his wife flash for his eyes. <laughs> Put it on the thing. I'm like, it should go up and it just wasn't going up. Yeah, let me turn it on. Stand by, we're having technical difficulties at SpaceX. Alright, so 
The drone was a success. I still have my drone. It's not in the water. It's not crashing into the beach or the trees, but we're gonna go ahead and weigh this huge mahi that I speared today. On the bottom. See, he got skinnier sitting on ice. We have a scale hung up right here. This way, yeah. Mahi are kind of awkward to do. Are you a I feel like it's going to be 38. Yeah, I think it's going to be Because he's got a skinny tail. He's just got a big old head. Hold on, hold on. What does it say? What does it say? 37.2. 37.2? <laughs> you lost, I lost. He's in the middle. Yeah. Wow, you were over. I mean, heck. Too high. I'll we'll take it. You went over, you lose. <laughs> Price is right. Price is right. 32? Yeah. 37? 30, 38. 38. He lost some blood. You said 45. 7 to the front. 37.8, 37 37.2. 37. Oh. Puppy, you eat what? I'm not touching him. No, you're close, 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 close yeah, without going yeah, over. Yeah, the nice. That'll work. Yep, that'll do. That'll do. I mean, heck, that's a 40 pound fish. What was that? That's a 40 pound fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That's a nice fish. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? What? Since I have the time to be here, I'm going to scroll out. Do it. Sorry, I'm gonna skull mount this. I'm gonna skull mount this fish. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> So we did the Cubera and then the smaller snapper that Alex shot, right? Yeah. These fish were just on the fire right in the backyard of their house here. I'm so excited to eat this. We got some plantains. What do they call these here? Pataconas. Pataconas? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, gonna, I'm, just, I'm just gonna squeak that out. <laughs> Let's get back to the fish. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be absolutely amazing. So you see right here, she went ahead and scored the fish, which is just putting those cuts into the meat and then you can really just add the flavor with the onions, the peppers, whatever vegetable, seasoning, garlic, whatever you use um, to really just get into that fish meat and make it a lot more flavorful. Plus of stuff. And stuff, the belly yeah. stuff too. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, stuff with vegetables. Oh, so we were just sitting on the porch organizing all the footage from the past two days, and we did weigh that big mahi mahi. So we're like, let's like, let's look up the woman's world record for spear gun mahi mahi, right? All right, let me show you guys here. Push. Aquí. So right now, the woman's world record for a dolphin fish common, common dolphin fish mahi mahi dorado is shot in Costa Rica and it's 33 pounds by Sherry Day. I think you guys can see that. If not, I'll you put it on the screen the there. Spectrum? Well, you guys saw it. My dolphin was 37.2, point four, 37.2 pounds. So I officially have the officially unofficial world record of the woman's Mahi Mahi on spear gun. So that's a super cool thing. Um, I don't know if we, we, we might try mm -hmm. to enter it, but I don't know because we technically mm -hmm. didn't like measure the fish and it wasn't like an approved scale, whatever. Yeah. It was 37.2 pounds, so super stoked on that. Um, I know I mean, you guys- It wasn't even close. Yeah, like yeah. I could see if like it was like 33.5 like, pounds or something, but it was like a whole four pounds up yeah. on the world record. So it's, that's pretty sick. Pretty epic. El otro? Si. Este es muy Do the other one. ¿Qué es eso? 
A cubeta? No. Yeah. That's a cubeta. <laughs> we have so much fish to eat. CJ goes, did we shoot a cubeta today? Yeah, I completely forgot I shot a cubeta. <laughs> I kind of did too. We shot a lot of miscellaneous fish today. Yeah, I had a feeling today was going to be our snapper slap day. We had two mahi, golden trevallis, cubeta. You shot a blue trevally. Yes. The Amarillo. Amarillo. That's that one, right? Yeah. No. Amarillo. And oh, the Sierra Mackerels. Oh, the Sierras, mackles. yeah. The Sierra Dang. Mackerels, I forgot about them. And a couple of them, too. I got to edit a lot of underwater spearfishing footage in this video. I've always wanted to cook fish like this. I'm so stoked. It's the best. Honestly. Really because the banana leaves probably just lock like, the moisture into the fish, you think? It, it yep. even adds a little flavor, in my opinion. Hey, what's this? That's foil on the outside. And this little, like, mm -hmm. sauce. Uh, it's just char. Look at this. Oh, he is hot. Es que este se encarga de que no se carga el cubo. Look at them, people. boy. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, what's your YouTube channel, CJ? He probably actually has one. It's, um, I think it's... I have to look. <laughs> I really don't even know. I have one. I, can, I know that. One second. CJ does have one. He's gonna start posting videos, I think, what, May? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think they might start coming out in May, guys. Yeah, so that's why he has Malachi here. He's doing a bunch of epic filming. He's gonna edit and it's they're gonna be pretty sick because I've already seen some of the footage that Malachi has filmed on this trip and let's just say the videos are gonna be awesome. Here we go, yeah, it's Charles CJ Duffy. Charles, hold on, let it focus. Charles CJ Duffy. He has a few videos up right now, but he's gonna get the ball rolling pretty soon. Pretty epic diving. All right, let's dig into this fish. Almario, right? Almario. Uh, Almario. Yeah. All right, give me a little bit of that right there. No. All right, you know what the best way to go about this is? Fingers. Yep. Holy moly, it's hot. Los All right. Up until now, like when so I'm we're gonna get some of this cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like that. Other places, it's not, it's not traveling. Miami, South Florida, everywhere. <gasps> mm, this one, this All right. <laughs> Adam Malera. How do you say this fish? Amarillo. Amarillo. Oh. So Amarillo. There you go. Amarillo. Perfect. Amarillo. Tastes like a snapper. It tastes as good as it looks. Yeah, that's good. All right. Now I'm going to go into the Cubero. I'm honestly like... I've had Cubera a few times back in Florida, and it's good, but I've never been like a huge fan of it. I don't know why, so. Honestly, the Cubera, I think is a lot more juicier. Maybe because it's more fatty. Both really good, but I kind of prefer the Cubera. That's good. Really good down here. Yeah, that's, that's what special. CJ was saying. It's I like it's it a lot. It's different here than it is like. It's there? almost like. Than Miami, yeah. Is there Cubera in, in Florida? Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like when you eat a cold water fish. Like a cold yeah, water fish is like so refreshing. Not very different. I feel like these Cubera are a little bit more refreshing than the ones back in Florida. That I think makes the sense. um, the Atlantic Cuberas have much larger bodies and tails. And um, the smaller heads in comparison, these these cubaras definitely have much larger heads and smaller bodies and tails. I mean, yeah, yeah. Now that you say that, I think I agree. And then um, the meat's a lot wider and flakier and more yeah. tender here, and I it's a little chewier that. and thicker um, on the ones in the Atlantic. I could see that. Now I just gotta shoot one. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, we're going to go ahead and sit down and enjoy this meal. We have a lot of food to eat, but we are starving because we've been diving all day today. Check out CJ's YouTube channel as well. But for right now, this video is ending. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit a thumbs up, and leave a positive comment below. And we'll see you guys next time. See ya!